Okay, welcome back guys. We're going to be solving another question. In today's video, and we have the square root of x plus square root of x minus 7 is equal to 7. And we need to figure out the value of the x. So uh, the common way to go with this kind of question is that since we have the square root, we're going to do the squares on each side in order to get rid of the the square roots that we have in this question and we know when we have a plus b squared this will be equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared and we have the same scenario when we have a negative sign in here we just have a negative sign in here too which is not the case in here so let's do what we have in here so this will be basically our a and this will be our b so we have square root of x to the power of 2 times 2ab 2 times square root of x times square root of x minus 7 plus b squared which is x minus 7 to the power of 2 is equal to the other side of the equation we have 7 squared which is basically 7 times 7 or 49 so now it's getting easier from this one we can get rid of this square root so we have x plus 2 times and we know when we have the square root of a times square root of b this will be equal to square root of a b so basically we have 2 again this is our a this is our b so the square root of x times x minus 7 plus x minus 7 from this one is equal to 49 and let's see what we have in here so we have these 2x here so we have 2x plus 2 times x times x minus 7 and we can bring the minus 7 on the other side of the equation so basically we have 49 plus 7 and what we have is 2x plus 2 times x times x minus 7 is equal to 49 plus 7 which will be 56. So now we can divide each side of the equation by 2 so we'll get 2x divided by 2 plus 2 times x times x minus 7 divided by 2 is equal to 56 divided by 2. So here we have x plus square root of x times x minus 7 is equal to 56 divided by 2 is 28. And now again we have one more square root. So if we do this square root on each side in this at this stage so obviously we're gonna end up with that uh, perfect square formula that we have and we'll have 2ab which means we'll still have one square root so it makes sense to not do this square on each side at this level what we're gonna do is that uh, we're gonna bring the x on the other side of the equation or we can subtract this by x on each side what we get on the left side is basically x times x minus 7 and on the other side we'll have 28 minus x now if we do the square root on each side we can get rid of the square root on the left side of the equation and there is no square root on the right side so we're good to go so what we get on the left side is basically x times x minus 7 and on the right side we'll have a squared which is 28 squared minus 2ab a is 28 b is x and last we have x squared so here we have x times x which is x squared minus 7x and on the other side we'll have 28 squared minus 2 times 28 or 56x plus x squared you can cancel out the x squared on each side and basically when minus 56 goes on the other side of the equation will be plus so 56x minus 7x is equal to 28 squared and 56 minus 7 is going to give us 49x and we have 28 times 28 we know 49 is 7 times 7x so if we divide 28 by 7 we get 4 so basically for each 28 we have 7 times 4 and same for the other ones set. 7 times 4 and we can cancel out the 7s on each side of the equation what we end up is 4 times 4 which will be 16 and that would be the final answer for this question uh so yeah that would be all for this one please let me know if you have 
any other solution to solve this feel free to drop your questions in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like and comment it's going to help me to reach out to more students and you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one